Okay, guys, so you're here for two cheeses for every single mini boss. This does work on every single mini boss, and the second method actually works with all of the larger bosses as well. Obviously, it's a little bit of a skeptical movement, but this does work very, very easily. So starting off with the first one, before we get into it, if you'd be so kind to hit the like button and subscribe, post notifications turned on, you know it'd be greatly appreciated. We're on the route to 30k. Anywho, let's crack on. So starting off, the mini bosses all have a area of damage. What I mean by that is they all have a place where they are coded to stay. Essentially meaning that they have a home, if you want to call it that. And what this means is that you can actually abuse that factor and you can take them and drag them out of their home and reset them except their health bar actually stays exactly the way that it was that you left it so what we're going to do is with this blood finger you guys can see that we are essentially just going in doing a bit of damage and then dragging him away slowly so that he comes to us with our area of effect this means that they are going to walk out of their area and they reset and once they do reset it is your job to just go back in and go and attack again and then run back out reset the area of effect and run back in and take him out again it's just that easy and it works with literally 95 percent of bosses this worked even with the draconic tree sentinel this did work with him as well although what we've got in the next one is a awesome one now this one has been around for a little while now, although it's still as strong as ever, but we have the summons for the Rotten Stray Ashes. This works ridiculously. So essentially we're going to summon the Rotten Stray Ash and it is going to go and attack and bite the enemy that we're up against. Now if you can actually keep the aggression towards you and aggro that boss in your direction, that Rotten Stray Dog is going to keep biting and biting and biting and eventually is going to cause Scarlet Rot. Now if you guys have been playing this long enough you all know that scarlet rot is an absolute bloody nightmare and nobody freaking wants it mainly because it will deteriorate your health bar until you eventually die or have a potion or something along those lines a magic ability that can get rid of the scarlet rot but enemies don't have that so this actually just repeatedly depletes so the higher the level of your rotten straight ashes the more damage that it's going to do against the bosses and all you have to do is keep them aggroed and keep just out of the way now you can see here on the draconic tree sentinel that it's actually just depleting even though i'm not even touching him and it will just continue to do this now if you are impatient like me you will keep trying to add attacks onto that and then it will slowly deplete while you're hammering in as well there's double the damage nice and easy but you can literally just aggro them and keep them running towards you and then just Leaving it there like that. Nice and easy. The boss is down. And next one, please. Now, that was just a quick guide for two cheeses that you guys can do for every single mini boss. This does work tenfold. And if there's anything else you want to add down in the comment section below, make sure you let me know with a beautiful little comment. Slapping the like button and subscribe when post notifications turned on. Thank you so much again for watching, guys. I appreciate all your faces. But as always, up until the next time, I'll see you in the clouds.